In this illustration, we intend to find the position of the crack using LAM waves in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the length of plate is 500 millimeters and its width is equal to a 40 millimeters. As it can be observed in this picture, a crack has been created in the plate and we intend to find the position of this crack by LAM waves. Actually, one of the applications of LAM waves is finding the place having been damaged. In this problem, the plate is made of aluminum and its thickness is equal to 1 mm. In this picture, the wave having been applied to the plate can be observed and its relation and curve can also be observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the plate. I will select the modeling space as 3D from here deformable, then shell and planner, enter approximate size equal to 2000 and continue. I will draw a rectangle. As you see in the picture, the length of plate is equal to 500 millimeters and its width is equal to 40 millimeters. Done. The plate is made of aluminum. I'll click on general menu then on density. The density of aluminum is equal to 2.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9 tons per cubic millimeter. After that I'll click on mechanical menu then on elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus of aluminum is equal to 69 thousand megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 in the next step I'll enter mesh module click on seed the part and enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.5 millimeters click on mesh part and yes Then I'll click on Assign Element Type, select the plate, done. Here put the element family on explicit and OK. Here you can observe the wave that propagates in the plate. As you observe, first the wave propagates in the plate, then moves forward until it reaches the end of the plate. Having reached the end of the plate, the wave returns back and reaches to the first part of the uh, plate again. Actually, the wave would have a reciprocating motion. After the wave has been spread through the plate, starts moving forward, then gets to the end of the plate and then starts returning again. I will click on create XY data, select ODB, history output and continue. Here I'll select U1 and click on save as. Actually, the horizontal displacement having been recorded by the sensor can be observed in this diagram. 
This section is related to the primary wave. And this section is related to the returning waves. As previously mentioned, the wave first gets to the sensor, then after reaching, after reaching the end of the plate, gets back to the sensor. Here, the diagram can be observed. The first point is that the returning wave is exactly the reverse of the initial wave. In fact, as displayed in this picture, point A in the initial wave is at minimum level, and point A in the returning wave is at maximum level. Also, point B at the initial wave is at maximum level and point B in returning wave has a minimum state. This actually indicates that the returning wave is exactly the reverse of the initial wave. Here, I will click on Create Cut Extrude. Select this line, then this one. Here, first, I should draw geometric shape of the crack. The width of the crack is equal to 2 mm and is 20 mm long. Here, as can be observed in the picture, the geometric shape of the crack was created. Here, as you observe, first the wave starts propagating, then reaches the sensor. In the next step, a part of the wave impacts on the crack and another part of the wave passes through the bottom area of the crack. The wave hitting the crack bounces back again and reaches the sensor. And the wave which had passed through the bottom area of the crack touches the end part of the plate and bounces back until it gets sensor. 